Okay, seven minute game. Nice speedy player, so as usual we can expect them to make a mistake. That is the expectation when players play fast. That you can't get out of it when they play fast, they are making a mistake. They're leaving something behind. There's a, a, a space that you can attack, take advantage of something. Because you cannot move that fast and actually do it. 100% full on quality play. You're always going to be missing something. So the Knights come out. So just take the moment. Because it's not hyperbolic game it's not a bullet game it's a blitz game so it's for me to find where the weaknesses are I'm going to castle so no one to blame but myself if it goes wrong so bishop is looking to do all sorts of actions towards the king he wants to go and castle basically doesn't he I'm going to bring a bishop here just to see if it uns unsettles the knight because he's looking like he's angling to come here and they've castled link up the rooks seems to make sense Obviously he's pushing down to our pawn. Let's just go here with the bishop, preempt the attack. So if he did push real quick, then we would have been taking the rook. Knight's coming down, can get taken. We take. His bishop takes. Bishop is on our knight. It's not on anything else. Our knight can come here, or he can actually come here potential threat of this area here so his bishop's probably going to come all the way back I'm going to take now it goes there like we said so the speed at which they're moving have a look at the bishop here it's not developed as yet obviously that might be the next move but they've moved that fast they're not really looking at protecting their pieces now he's looking to protect his rook by moving here but it's not a proactive movement in its own right could still go there but it's not got the same sort of impact although he still will be attacking the bishop so i'm going to lean on the bishop bishop's moving away from the frets His bishop is still under threat at the moment, so we could look to jam this bishop because he's attacking this pawn here. So I'm just going to push here. Single attacks. And again, he's now supporting the pawn, but he's really wanting to get his bishop out. Knights hunt the bishops in our mantra. So his rooks are stuck on the back, now this bishop is looking to get trapped. Not really trapped, but yeah, they're on the defensive. So if we just back that pawn up, he's going to have to run his bishop all the way back. So it's so key to work your pieces together and use the strength of the... Oh, he's pushing the pawn. Woohoo. It's just a smaller piece attacking the higher piece. That makes sense. So his bishop has to go all the way back, which is a good thing for us. Well, what are we looking at? Are we looking at targeting a pawn in the center? Opening up the bishop a little bit. King side attack. He 
Yeah, so it's moving dead fast, but again, all simply defended. His idea really is for his rooks to be coming here, maybe challenging this area, but that doesn't look like that's going to be happening anytime soon. Okay, he's just going to push here. He can have, have the advance pawn. So there's, there's not a right lot for them to do at this moment. So we're just going to push here now in the centre. Make some space for our rooks to get activated. Okay, so I'm not sure if they should have taken the pawn, but um, I care not. Our time is running down. Seems we're going down a lot quicker. I, I feel like I'm moving fast. So we do have this pressure on here with the rook putting a check on, so we may as well go and do that. And then doubling the rooks up seems pretty straightforward. So we got here fairly quickly, but it's about position play and working the pieces together. These poor rooks haven't got any plays, bishops trying to find an angle in. It's blocking off this square here. Uh, one of the key things for me is we can push to block off this area. We could push this pawn onto his pawn. Could push this pawn up, enticing the um, bishop to come down. So I'm actually going to push this. If the bishop goes down, then the rook goes, puts a check on. We take the rooks off the board. We've got like a pass pawn in the centre here. Looks a little bit better for us, I think. Oh no, the bishop does take. Oh, that's a shame. Now we don't have to go rushing there. We could actually take the pawn off the board. But I think we're, we're in a nice position. We're in a nice position. We could do some damage. could take if we take it's okay but it's a lot of hard work if we put a check on come back and take these pawns if the bishop puts it ooh, if the pawn puts a check on the king what, what's that let's go here time is running out checks on the king So he's going to dance. Let's take this pawn. See if we can get an advantage. We probably should have taken it the first time. Just looked look, looked really good, but now we think it's over now. So that's a desperate attempt at going for a, a check on the king, but there's no meat behind it. These poor rooks here, out of the game completely. Wrong side of the king made it easy for us to attack the king area because all of his pieces were on the other side of the board away from his king it's one of the key elements of us doing the answer process and i think that's it yeah okay so that was a nice example of the answer process simple direct moves to remove pieces from the ball strategically and pressure in the king or the king area just um, take you to where we got to this opponent has done the knight and bishop for a rook situation so I'm looking forward to recording the rest of this game just to show the downfalls pitfalls to actually doing this type of uh, maneuver uh, I'm just going to capture keep it simple it can be done you know it catch the opponent unawares but if they know how to maneuver their pieces and they're not reliant solely on having two rooks if you count how much material we've got on the board not that we do I just want to be able to position my pieces in good squares and good places one two three four so they've got four actual pieces we've got one two three four five five actual main pieces to actually work with so we should be able to do something with that. Well, that's a nice move. Let's, let's attack the 
this area here. If they forget themselves, it's got the queen that is on this area here, but if we hit this area, it's coming protecting the area. I keep knocking that wire. Do you hear me? Okay, so we'll take it easy, nice and steady. Develop the rook opposite the queen. That's going to be a bit of a pain. Moves the queen off the line. It's actually facing our king here. It doesn't have a bishop that can actually come directly opposite. I don't know if there's any concern other than maybe his queen coming to sit here. But what realistically can it do? It is defending his king area, which is a nice touch. Mm hmm. Could we not trade down and just uh, put pressure on him? So you'll have less number of pieces on the board. It's actually taken, crikey. Well, so that's our strategy, reducing down. So they've come there dead quick, almost. Do do do. to bring the knight across fairly safe fairly safe he's just got two main pieces which are trying to condense our king area he's got some nice moves Crikey. okay bring the knight across oh yeah definitely yeah these are hmm yeah <laughs> okay right I'm going to see if I can predict his moves now. You <laughs> see? Uh, this is not even funny. Right. <laughs> okay. So he's looking to condense down our bishop. Uh, da -da -da -da. Push the pawn here, stopping his pawn from jumping onto the bishop. Let's see what move we push next. Yep, okay. <laughs> oh my life. I'll tell you why I'm laughing afterwards. Okay, so let's bring the bishop attacking this pawn. We're on three minutes, they're on four minutes. <laughs> ah, dear, you gotta laugh, you gotta laugh. Okay, so. Let's push this up. Aha, surprise, surprise. Okay, let's just keep our ninja bishop on a nice diagonal here. Close, no cigar. So, um, left this pawn. We're on two minutes, they're on four. How fast they've been moving. They're moving super speedy. They've hardly broken any time. Again, this is another example of players moving fast the thing I was going to tell you about is the fact of the, the speed at which the opponent was moving and the, the moves that they were finding those are the types of moves that put the frighteners on people who go how are they finding all these moves they look really good and those moves they were pulling out were really quite strong and there they go again a smaller piece attacking a higher piece you know, so you can't fault the actual moves apart from obviously the small potatoes, things like not protecting the um, pawns and stuff. Uh, 
Hmm, let's bring it back here. Maybe swing it across. Yep, yeah, so again, it, it sort of looks like they don't know. Oh, interesting. That they're not putting any thought into their actual moves. I'm going to put a pin on here because the queen's there. Because they just go bang, 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 bang. It doesn't have a check on our king, so that's why I, I felt, for, oh, we, we can go for the queen. Let's take that queen off the board. I didn't think they'd do that. Let's take that. I'm a, I'm a knight man. Let's go. See what this rook can do against two knights. Playing super speedy. Uh, let's go here. King. If we keep them working together, we should be okay. I don't, I don't really have any issues. Oh, it's getting the king down. Let's get the knight over. Time's running out for me, so I really have to move fast. <laughs> Just going to move that. Yeah, they're finding all the right stuff. It does make me laugh. Ooh, I'm not sure about that one. You can't take anything now. Bring this night here. One minute seventeen. This rope's all trapped now. Ooh, man, I thought he was trapped. He is trapped. Boom. Let's have you. Oh no. Mm. Let's take you. See you later. It's just, I don't even need to move that actually, what am I doing? Fifty-two seconds. It could all go pear-shaped. He's trying to come down to save his pawn, isn't it? Let's go for the pawn. Let's take the pawn. Is he coming for a knight? So I'm just going to time me out with his silly king moves. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's go. Let's move these knights out of the way. Let's go. Go. Go, 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 go. Go. Go, go, come on. He's looking for a stalemate. Where can he get it? Where can he get it? Nowhere. Let's go. Let's go. As nice as nights are under time pressure, I don't have time to be trying to find some fancy manoeuvre. And that should about do it, shouldn't it? Step ladder. Boom. Way nice one. End game opening. The answer to chess. It's another 45 minute game, 15 second increment and we look like we're playing some type of speed merchant, <laughs> they've gone dead quick. Oh, 
Okay. Let's just push through here. What do we have? What do we have? Space for... Space for castling. This is another warm-up match for tomorrow's tournament match. Hmm. Let's just put a touch on the king to let him know that way we're playing the game of chess. A little bit of a check. Obviously, it's nothing major. Bishop just comes out. But I feel like I'm developing a piece. A strong piece that is actually putting pressure towards their king. Could castle get a double going? Let's castle. Maybe develop a piece attacking a little weak pawn just here, supported by the queen. Mm -hmm. Super speed again. Speed don't impress me. Now, the thing is, if we move here, then we get the knight there, uh, get the rooks involved. But then he gets to double our pawns here. Mm -hmm. Don't really have an issue doubling the pawns, but I don't want to give it to him just for the sake of giving it to him. Mm -hmm. Could develop the knight first. His bishop moves. Means his bishop can go there. Hmm. <laughs> Let's bring the bishop here and block. I feel like I'm going to lose the tempo somewhere. So that's no problem. So now they've slowed down when they speed up it's like they're following a pattern that they can see in their heads and the faster they put it out they try to then catch it by surprise so this is why we take our time smaller piece attack and a higher piece This knight wants to come down here, doesn't it? I'm going to push this pawn just to stop that action. Oh, it's still come down. Oh, have I fallen for something? He's moved there dead quick. Have I fallen for something? I can take with the bishop. His bishop's going to move. Winning the bishop. Oh, da, 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 da. He's been chomping at the bit to get that move off all day. Hmm. I'm just going to sit and marinate, let it soak in. Because it's stages like these that they leave gaping holes in their own tactics. He's been wanting to get that in since he's done this rook move, so all he's planned is getting my queen. But he's not realised that getting his queen could be an issue for himself if we go here we're on his queen if he comes down takes our queen we take his queen and he's 
rook can't do anything else so he either comes back up and then we bring our bishop back or if he takes the bishop then we take his rook so it's going to be down <laughs> if we take the bishop his rook is chomping at the bit to do that then we take his rook but he's won our queen bishop's got this area here he's won the queen I think we need to challenge his queen we take his rook takes bishop takes looks like we've got more material on the ball but I'm not sure about my position what, what is that doesn't look good enough to be fighting against the queen bishop takes hmm I think I'm going to attack. I'm going to attack their queen. And they've taken back, so that actually gives us an opportunity to escape. And I'm looking at the amount of pieces now because we took that knight. We're actually plus two. And we are moving the queen out of the way. If we move it here, we're blocking our knight out. And also this pawn. We need to keep protecting this pawn, so we're going to have to bring this back. quick and speedy movement so far we seem to have circumvented again with appropriate positioning but I'm not going to monologue because he does look quite ferocious with what he's trying to oh oh I thought I had it for a second there I thought I had a free rook but if I take his bishop takes the queen mm. <laughs> If I pushed here like this, then we could be on. If I pushed on to the bishop, I think we could be on, couldn't we? I'm going to push on to the bishop. Smaller piece attack and higher piece. Unless, of course, he's going to want to open up my king. Then takes, takes. We're on his rook, so he's got two pieces to contend with. With attacking two pieces, which one does he want to? If there's one good thing I've learned about playing chess against fast players, is position, because they really do look awesome and they look frightening when they're moving fast, and it usually is because they've got one particular pattern in mind and they, they're hell-bent on going for that one tactical maneuver that they leave everything else in the wayside you know weak pieces pieces unprotected and spaces around the king uh, they're not supporting the king so that's one key thing that I have learned it's really improved my game Especially when you're playing a longer game like this where really you've got the time to take your time with your moves. So he's gone into a deep think now because he's got two pieces on under attack. But I'm always of the, the Paul Morphy sort of mindset, the William Wilhelm Steinitz sort of thought process when I look at their games and I go, 
while you had three pieces under attack and you just didn't care and you just went on and you attacked another piece and you attacked another piece so I used that in the reverse like this particular situation here the opponent has two pieces under attack yet they've come back and they're attacking again so you have to be very wary about your own position and what you think you have what advantages you think you have there's always a disadvantage with the advantage so he's attacking the bishop is there an issue taking the rook took that straight away didn't he Means he's got something set again. What has he got set? Queen coming here, bishop still taking the bishop. He moved quick. He moved quick for a reason. Some sort of diagonal thing here. Because this pawn can't take the queen. Always look when somebody's moving dead quick it's like I said they've got a quick tactic that they want to get in there and they think if they move fast you're gonna move fast too so then you fall into the trap so we need to block that off we need to we need to block that off because his queen is coming down here because of that these tactics tactics I think tactics training has got a lot to answer for for these um, quick and dirty type tactic thing you know uh, movements it almost detracts from the whole lovely art of playing chess <laughs> so he's going again hitting this area here I don't really have a problem too much really, I could come here quite easily or just drop my queen back It's a quick and dirty tactics man uh, So he's got all of that It's, oh, you know why his queen got this as well here getting my rook off the board mm -mm -mm. well that looks pretty meaty to me so all of that rook could come here to next base but he's still got that I see position 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 I'm gonna have to let that go onto that pawn for some reason I could bring this rook out but you know to give my king space if his queen comes down then the king moves across I'm not trusting that I'm going to have to let that pawn go so he can take the pawn maybe we can then just move the knight out get the support from the rook damn that was quite good quick and dirty tactics but 
the art of chess is still here we're still following the art of chess proper full calculation I think all these quick dirty tactics things it just it detracts from the whole beauty of the game so let's take that Queen's going here do have that so we could just take there and it just might just take the take the rook anyway hmm interesting times uh, I think I prefer this type of action Although he could then just take and then we have to take and then he takes the knight. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Yeah. I think that's what's going to happen, isn't it? It's going to go here. I prefer this manoeuvre There he goes, he's not going to, he's going to stay there is he? he? takes, we go here If, he's not going to take there because obviously the rook's protected The bishop then takes, we take, his queen takes our knight Bishop's blocking there, so we can come here with the queen take this pawn. Then we're on this pawn here. How many is that? I bet that's gone over four, is it? Should be four. Queen comes down. One. Yeah, so we're going to follow these lines then, aren't we? Going to move the knight. So we'll end up with our queen there. Yeah, we're following that to the letter. Okay, so that's okay. So plus one at the moment. So we're on the pawn here, can I expect this to drop? Then his queen gets taken. Uh, so he's um, it's flying with his speed, but position is key for us. Now we could attack his queen, <clears throat> but what he has is this lovely position here, and then he'd win our queen. <clears throat> we lose the tempo yeah so if we move say this rook to attack his queen his bishop comes with a check on our king we have to take or move the king whichever his rook takes and then we take his ah, that could work <laughs> could it mm, no I don't know I don't like it it's too much, it's too much. Just take the pawn. <laughs> Just take the pawn. I'm believing I'm developing a better position as we're going through. Because the opponent has moved that fast in the early part of the game and even towards this stage here that really they've not they've not really thought about position how many more quick and dirty tactics can they utilize now they've got less pieces on the board so if they're going to try and fashion this attack again which probably they are going to we'll have to sort of maneuver our pieces across get the king across here that type of situation we still do have the queen that can come back and protect and block off like it did last time but does he go for the pawn or does he go for the quick and dirty tactic I'm plumping for quick and dirty tactic because that's what this player is and like we say we come back down to block off like we did earlier 
can tell they're going for it because they would have taken the pawn straight away but yeah they're going for the quick and dirty it's going to get blocked off and then after that stage depends on depends on what they do next after that <gasps> I am shocked I am shocked to the core <laughs> ah dear me now he's looking for a little cheapy here could bring our queen back our queen can look to take this pawn off here though I feel a bit averse to bringing the king up here and protecting the pawn why the diagonal's covered by the queen currently but if it's going to be taking this pawn then it's going to go off that diagonal so I'm sort of forced to stay on this diagonal Hmm. I'm going to bring it up and if I don't I'm giving them more weight I don't need to worry about this pawn so much get these maybe get this pawn pushed up maybe put a bit of pressure on the queen this bishop's safe because of this pawn so how do we get to their king back rank checkmate no because he's still got the bishop here protecting that area just moves i think that'll be a new good to read check on the queen so where's he looking now another quick and dirty he can't go there because the queen like we say is covering this diagonal probably wants to get his bishop off of this so that his rook is opened up with the queen you know I feel a sacrifice coming on getting rid of this bishop <laughs> Are we doubling up here? Again, no point doubling because the bishop can go back and uh, defend. So how do we fashion something up? Up, attacking the queen. Double here. And then that's... We get the rook. Okay, starting to think, starting to think. Small potatoes. Yeah. Okay. Cross. Intentions of here. Of well, obviously, his bishop can come here if it wanted to to block that off. Uh, touch the queen. Queen moves somewhere. Defends the pawn, maybe. Rook. The general idea <laughs> to have some sort of force up here I know the bishop can protect but at least we we could lean on the rook if he keeps it there <laughs> yes they've gone into a deep 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 thing now and as we've mentioned before uh, if you're like a speed merchant it's quite hard you know if you're a quick and dirty tactics type player and that's how you play it's quite hard to then change into trying to be a positional player uh, during a game because your habitual nature <coughs> is for quick and dirty tactics so like this put this opponent you could see they have the option of coming to this square here to go for a quick and dirty but because now they're trying to do positional play subconsciously they might not be aware of it it's um, affecting the results of how it's panning out and he's probably even going to go for something simple you know like a pawn push <laughs> I 
Damn. <laughs> Oh, that's really good. <laughs> oh, crikey. Yeah, so, like I say, I've got to keep this diagonal because his queen's, re his queen's ready to jump and put, put checks on my king. So I'm not going to get away from that. So we did say we were going to be looking to do something like this. So I'm going to continue with that. I'm not, I don't need to labor over that. It's the best sort of option, even though he's pushed the pawn down. We're still looking to either get a touch on the rook, get these doubled up or something. Got to be mindful this pawn can be going. So we need to prepare before we actually get the full, <coughs> the full doubling up. Queen's moved. It's moved already, so that's fine for us. That's fine. Because like a quick and dirty tactics player, looking for positional play, have a look at where he's gone. Straight attacking the rook here. <laughs> it does make me laugh. Okay, so... I am willing to actually just bring this rook here. I know his queen can go and get the pawn on this side, but I'm not going to lose too much sleep over that because it'll be like a two on one he's got on there. But I think that puts pressure on his. He's going for the quick and dirty thing, look, see? <laughs> and the queen can come down and just block it off anyway, so he can come right round to the back. Oops, sorry. Right round to the back. But we do have access to come around this way here. And he has actually gone round the back, so he should have actually taken, I think. But never mind. Let's just bring the king around. He's probably looking to block off at the top with his rook, but the rook gets taken. So if he goes here and gets carried away with himself, our queen can take. So it's a little bit of a this quick and dirty tactics thing. This is <laughs> it does make me laugh. I'm not laughing at the player, I'm laughing at the situation with the quick and dirty tactics versus position play. Because he's struggling, he's finding he's, he's finding the, the tactic, which is an old tactic in this game, because we mentioned this ages ago. And now he's going for little pawn pushes. Okay. So we wanted to double up on this file. So I think we can quite easily do that. Um, do, 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 we still want to double on this file. We said this right from the get go. Mm -mm -mm. Well, then he still can't come down here so I don't know why I'm worried about that and then just get this rook here that just seems simple enough to me this rook comes across looking to come round the back do we have enough time to go here like this This king goes there, but then the queen will put a check on the king. Yeah, I think that works, you know. I'm just going to go here. Following the plan, as we mentioned all the time, if you have a plan, a sketchy plan, it's better than no plan. Good position. Well guarded. I can't really see a problem with it. just to keep this because his bishop could be looking to take at any stage so let's block that off uh, 
Okay. This feels like a proper long game, and we aren't really. It's, it's only 10 minutes each we've used up. Hmm. Sticking with the plan. I mean, this has got a bit of a tender touch to it as well. But obviously, we can't do anything with that because he's got the dark square bishop, which has, hasn't been allowed to come out and play. The rook is sitting behind the bishop for a while. He may just move it. He, he can't do that though, really, can he? Because the queen's going to put a check here. So the only thing he can do is shuffle his rook, maybe. But even then, he doesn't really want to do that. Probably bring it to this side, protecting his king. <laughs> only open file is this, but I don't know what he's going to do with it because it's by itself. Does the queen really want to stay right at the back here? But now it can't actually get out without being taken. So he could go here if he just wants to exchange down and then hedge his bets against you know the rook and the bishop against the two rooks. So I think those are the two better options of position ish for them <laughs> but I think if I was in the situation I might just plump for seeing whether or not they get the person's any good with the two rooks and seeing whether or not I could exchange off the queen hopefully I remember that in any future games when I'm in a position like this <laughs> gone from one extreme to the other super speed and then proper tortoise right I'll pause the video oh, they eventually made a move They've brought the rook across so we we're doubling up as we said so if there's a preemptive then we do have the queen here as we mentioned but I don't think he's gonna go there I think he's gonna do a pawn move of some sort first so this pawn here so that then that stops our queen from targeting them but if they do that then we get the rook up so it doesn't look too disadvantageous at this moment we did say that it potentially was going to come to this open file but we don't really know what its plans are because it doesn't seem to have any support for anything unless he's trying to steal us away from somewhere but we're going to have these checks on his king as far as I can see So he may have gone for another long break so I'll pause the um okay so they've they've done a move that actually didn't come into any of my recollection at all he's brought the king to here so we didn't have that planned in <laughs> right So we do have options, queen coming here, targeting this square more so, but if the queen does disappear from there, it's still got the diagonal in this corner. This rook is protecting this pawn, so his queen's not going to do with that. If we went there, if his rook decided to come down and do something funky, I don't think it can. Can the queen come and support that because the queen still can't get into this action because the rook will take so i think we can go here 
that that move didn't come into it at all but now that I'm looking at it I don't think there's much that can be done he says walking into some sort of checkmate pattern so we'll pause the video again and they've actually made a move and they've made this queen move here I don't know if they've not seen this rook or am I falling into a trap I don't know if I am I've taken the queen with the rook and black resigned so that was a pretty tense game but it was more to do with speed again versus position um, with this particular game and I can't strongly say I can't say it strongly enough it's uh, you get to this type of situation in the end game if you make it to the end game and you survive the quick and dirty tactics where the opponent's pieces are generally not working together as best possible when they're trying to find these quick dirty the really skillful players that's the thing the skillful players but i believe it's it's slightly wasted because of that lack of positional either understanding or desire to work positionally work your pieces together and formulate proper full-on attacks on the kings and the king's area <laughs> 